This video is all about bugs that are active currently in game or have been recently. I promise you're gonna see stuff in this video you haven't seen before. A bug abuser decided he didn't mind showcasing some of the most well-kept secretive bugs in the bug abuse community, although he didn't tell me how to do most of them. So he wasn't actually exposing the secrets as much as he was showing off bug abuse potential. Less than 10 people know about a lot of the things he shared with me. Everything I tell or show you in this video was sent to Jagex months ago, giving them a chance to investigate. And you'll probably have more questions than answers at the end of this video, but I hope it was entertaining. Let's start off with one of the more minor bugs. This bug abuser took me to Clan Wars and told me to freeze him. Now, I use a spell that's supposed to freeze him for 10 seconds. As you can see, he immediately is able to walk around. And if I immediately try to freeze him again, I'm given a game message saying your target is already held by a magical force. He repeats this three times with me to make sure that I understand what's going on. This bug renders his account unable to be frozen in PvP, whether that's Ice Barrage or any other freezing spell. And again, you might have more questions than answers. I have no idea how he does it. Now, I said that was one of the more minor bugs, but I thought that was a pretty significant bug. The ones he showed me only escalate from there, though. Now, he took me to level 7 Wilderness. His account is a level 48, I'm a level 42. So I should be able to attack him. And as you can see, this next bug renders his character unable to be attacked in the Wilderness. It's irrelevant that I'm in a free-to-play world, and as you can see, I'm not getting any game messages that I can't attack him or anything like that. I just literally cannot attack him. But this bug actually has much, much larger implications than just being invincible in the wilderness. And the best way he could describe it to me is that he's tricking the game into thinking his account has logged out even though he hasn't. I'll show you a lot more abuses of this bug right after the sponsor of today's video. This video was brought to you by Manscaped. And if you don't know by now, I use their products a lot. Now Manscaped sent me their Performance Package 4.0. The Performance Package 4.0 comes with the Lawnmower 4.0 Wireless Waterproof Trimmer. This trimmer is not like most trimmers. It has advanced ceramic blades with Manscaped Skin Safe technology, which helps protect you from nicks and cuts, but still groom with care. What's super useful is it has a travel lock, so if you press the power button three times, it's locked now even if the button is pressed in your luggage. You can just unlock it again by tapping it three times. The trimmer even comes with its own wireless charging system. All you have to do is plug in the dock into the wall and then you can set your 4.0 trimmer in and it'll instantly start charging. So check out the Performance Package 4.0 today and use code PUGGER20 for 20% off and free shipping. The link is in the description. So if you've tricked the game into thinking you've logged out even though you haven't, not only can players not attack you, but monsters who would normally aggro to you won't. And this includes some of the highest level bosses in game like the corporeal beast. All of you know that if you enter Corp, he instantly starts doing a lot of DPS to you. But the only thing he does to this account is stomps while the account is under him, even though Corp still doesn't do any damage to the account. It's worth mentioning though that while this account is in its logout state, it thankfully can't interact with some things in game. For example, the account can't attack other players. So even though it's invincible in the wilderness, it's not like the account can kill you. In the same line of reasoning, it can't attack monsters. But you can still interact with the game in a lot of other ways. Here's one example. Example. When doing the sorceress's garden, you have to avoid certain NPCs. It's basically a patrolled maze and you have to wait around the hedges so that the NPCs don't see you. But if the game doesn't think your account is logged in, the NPCs won't register that your account is even there. So obviously you're doing way quicker runs, getting way more XP and rewards per hour. The other thing to note in this clip is that run energy and prayer don't decrease while this account is in this logged out state. So you have infinite prayer, infinite run energy, you're in invincible in the wilderness, and NPCs can't attack you. The Sorceress's Garden, though, is just an example of what can be done. This also applies to the Hallowed Sepulcher Agility course. Normally, it's maybe 60,000 Agility XP per hour, but if you can just run straight through the course, it's around 600,000 Agility XP per hour and over 10 million GP per hour. Luckily though, so few people know how to accomplish this, and it's very detectable by Jagex because the lap time comes in at 0 minutes 0 seconds, that this will never be mass abused or mass botted. If it was up to me, this bug abuser and I would have gone through every single odd application of this bug. Unfortunately that didn't happen, but I did get him to record some footage at LMS. Because of the bug, the survivor counter in the top right corner is stuck. As you can see, obviously fog doesn't damage this account even though it's damaging others. The arrows are also bugged out, but he's just trolling the fire 
final two players, and when one wins, they disappear and he just stays. In the instance of the game, I guess until he actually logs out. Kind of weird to be in a minigame instance after the minigame has ended and every player left. But I'm pretty sure there isn't really any exploit here since he's not going to get any points, I think. Obviously, there are just numerous exploits from this bug. You may have noticed Reddit posts about invincible players doing rogues chest and deep wildy. That's definitely this bug being abused. This bug actually has a long and interesting history. It was first found in 2007 and then again in 2013. And its official name is NIFL or Non-Interfaced Forced Logout. However, in 2013, when you were doing this bug, you could still attack monsters and other players. They just couldn't fight back. That led to some incredibly significant abuses of the game, including invincible court bots farming hundreds of spirit shields. Not to mention the bug worked in the duel arena so you could scam people out of literally bills. There are some videos on YouTube of a couple people who actually did this, I'll link them in the description. The only other thing to really say about this particular bug is that old school RuneScape's engine code is so hard to understand and barely anyone does that figuring out how to fully patch this bug might unfortunately open it up to way worse abuse. Uses. And I'm pretty sure Jagex has known about it for a long time and is still figuring out how to patch it. Hopefully the secret won't be out anytime soon so that most of the player base isn't running around invincible. Here's a bug that was around in the last couple years, but is not possible anymore as death mechanics have been changed. A reward from the Great Brain Robbery quest is the Blessed XP Lamp, which gives 5,000 XP in any skill above 30. The XP Lamp also doesn't have a drop option, it's a destroy option. So if you had a lot of untradeables in your inventory, like these salve shards, and then died with those untradeables and the XP lamp, the XP lamp would drop to the ground and you could go collect another one. This is an XP lamp dupe. Pretty interesting stuff. It's a little more complicated than how I explained it, but you get the gist of the idea. As you can see, when he right clicks the pile, he's already got 12 XP lamps on the ground. That's 60k XP. Duping each XP lamp only took about a minute, which made this method about 300k XP per hour in any stat above 30. Here's a bug I was actually able able to recreate. And again, I sent all of this, including exactly how to accomplish this bug, to Jagex a couple months ago to give them time to fix it. Notice I have some items in my looting bag, 2 mil cash and full Elder Chaos Druid robes. I'm also poisoned. If I open an interface and right click going through the LMS barrier at about the same time, I have the bug set up. Basically the exact tick when the poison hits, I click pass through the competitive barrier. I die right as the game starts, but for a brief second, I'm actually outside of the LMS game. Game. And then I'm pulled back into the game. I let a player kill me and when I leave I have no items in my inventory, no looting bag, no jewelry I had before. All of this is permanently deleted from the game. I even took some jewelry out of my bank and checked with death. There's nothing there. However, if I go back to the Grand Exchange and buy a looting bag note, change it to a looting bag, and check the looting bag, my items are still in the looting bag, full Elder Chaos Druid and 2 mil GP. I think this bug is slightly more well known in the bug abuse community. Its real use is just for ultimate Iron Men to get a full nother inventory of storing items when they're going into the wilderness and don't want to risk stuff. Let me preface this next clip with the fact that again, I don't know how these bugs are done. Although in this footage, you can basically see how the bug is set up. I still don't quite understand what's going on. But basically this bug allows accounts to go into the building modes of other accounts. Now, as you can see, when the account first enters another account's building mode, it's floating in the air and can't interact with anything. However, the account can go to its own building mode settings and click the house viewer, the purple button. Button, which resets the account on the ground. Now you can't do that anymore, it was patched. This method doesn't work anymore and this footage doesn't show it, but in building mode if you have an infernal cape on a stand, you could take that infernal cape on whatever account you've snuck in with. One of the craziest abuses of this bug though, was that you could actually use the tip off jar to transfer GP to Iron Man. If you use this bug to sneak into the Iron Man's building mode house, you could put 2 billion GP in the tip off jar and the Iron Man could remove it. And we're not talking about theoretically, this was 100% abused. Again, it is patched now. I have new evidence for the Trillion GP Omega Egg Smuggle video I made, which if you haven't already seen, I recommend watching. It's about what likely crashed GP prices last year. Quick recap though, the Omega Egg's value was set to 100 million GP. I collected screenshots from other people in the bug abuse community of bots throughout last year at Barbarian Assault, and even one at the Inferno with the Barbarian Assault ring around it, signaling there was a bug that allowed you to sneak out of Barbarian Assault. 
I was also sent this random tip off that I connected to the Omega Egg Smuggle. Accounts teleporting into 41 Wilderness and instantly suiciding in the exact tick that they teleport. Apparently the Omega Egg turned into 12.5 million GP on death. Even though it had a value of 100 mil you couldn't out get. This brings us to the new evidence. After I made that video, multiple people reached out and said they were actually able to kill those accounts teleporting into the wilderness. Some important things to note in this screenshot. It's not a video clip and we can't actually see how much GP was on the ground. The guy who sent in the tip offs told me it was 300 million GP. The date of the screenshot is October 12th, 2020. That fits in with the timeline. The person killed is Silent Venger, which matches the name of one of the bots at Barbarian Assault sent to me by someone completely different in the bug abuse community. Don't worry, it gets better. Another person reached out and said they also killed someone, this time on September 20th, suiciding in the wilderness. However, this person actually recorded a video and picked up 300 million GP, the same amount that the last person claimed they picked up. 300 million GP would be roughly 24 Omega eggs in the inventory of the bot dying, which totally makes sense if they're gonna keep three items on death. And finally, maybe the biggest piece of evidence, I asked Jagex if they would acknowledge its existence. Their response was quite literally, we confirmed that the bug was closed. That means the bug existed and that Jagex had to fix it. And I think that's all the evidence we'll ever get unless the bug abuser wants to finally come out and talk about it. If you liked the video, make sure to like the video. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. You can always unsubscribe. I'll see you guys later.